All right, good morning everyone. And today I'm going out in the kayak. I'm in the Finger Lakes, one of the larger Finger Lakes. Gonna go fishing for Northern Pike. Gonna mostly be using metal spoons, but I also have some jerk baits and some swim baits. But I think I'm mostly gonna use the spoons. These guys are cool fish. If you're not familiar with them, they're very aggressive predators. Um, they have a long slender body. They're fast swimmers and they have um, kind of a flat snout that has a lot of sharp teeth in there. So we have long pliers for unhooking them because you don't want to put your fingers in their mouth because of those teeth. Here we go out to the main lake. Okay. Right now it is late November. Tomorrow is actually Thanksgiving. We got a sunny day here with pretty low wind, which isn't optimal for getting them to bite. Doesn't mean we can't make it happen. But uh, by the same token, it is cold out. You know, we're getting close to winter in upstate New York. And a sunny day without a lot of wind is a good day to take the kayak out. And then we're gonna get ourselves out to some areas where I think we're gonna find these fish, where I found them before. And I hope I will find them again. There we got motor. Off we go. As we make our way out to the spot, I'm just gonna give you a little bit of info about what I'm gonna be doing. Um, I'm gonna be looking on the fish finder and in real life, um, so long as the water is clear enough, which it is, um, to see down to where we can find lots of weed growth, big beds of weeds. Pike are ambush predators and they like to hang out in weed beds where they can hide. This way they can conceal themselves from potential prey. And um, you know, if something that looks tasty swims by, it might swim by without knowing that the pike is there hiding and the pike can jump out and grab it. The idea is basically gonna to be to find these weeds and then to kind of bring the lure across the tops of the weeds. Not into them so that you snag, um, but close to them so that Mr. Pike feels comfortable just venturing just a little bit out of those weeds and grabbing your lure. We're gonna be looking for these fish mostly in like eight, 10, up to 12 feet is my guess. But we'll see where we find weeds. That's really our main, that's what we're searching for right now. Weeds. I'm sure you can see into the water here. It's so clear. Just kind of rocky, sandy stuff with little patches of like shrubby weeds that were this tall. But I'm looking for tall grass. There's another dead fish. Looks like a freshwater drum, which is not like a super common fish in here. There's a pike sitting right there. Just sitting there. All right, let's start making some casts. There's some weeds here. Not a ton, but some. And I just saw a pike just, just sitting in the water back there. I'm gonna put some distance between me and him and then throw that spoon back there. See if he's willing to bite. I'm gonna throw this metal spoon at him. Let's see if he wants it. There he is. There he is. There's a pike. Wonder if that was the same fish or another one. I just saw a little catfish. 
Wind's picked up a little. Not a lot, but a little bit of breeze. I can't see into the water as easily as I could a few minutes ago. Kind of hoping that it's not just a little gust that it's going to maintain a little bit more wind speed. And maybe uh, these fish won't be so spooky. Oof! Long cast. Oh, oh! On. Got one. What is this? Pike. Just gonna lift him. Hey, hey, we got one. Nice. All right, maybe they'll turn on now. Sweet. All right, eight feet of water. First fish. Don't weird, don't go crazy now, guy. All right, pike number one. Took us a while to get this guy, didn't it? Sure did. All right, hold still, pikey. Not a big one. We should measure him. Get some good light on him there. Hey, Pike. All right. Good hit from this fish. I don't know, 22, something like that? All right. Let's let him go. Hey, Pike. We had to work for you, buddy. There he goes. He really smacked it. He really hit it really hard. That was awesome. Not a real big one, but this stage of the game, I was pretty much ready to pack it in without getting anything. So I'm happy to have that guy. He was like 22, that's my guess. Maybe bigger, maybe 23, four. Where's my net? Uh-oh. Oh my God, did I lose my net? Oh my God, I dropped my net in the water. Oh, it's probably gone forever. <laughs> How did I do that? I don't think I'll be able to get it, even if I can find it. Maybe I can, I could probably drop my spoon into the netting on the net. If I could find it, there's a low likelihood of that though. Oh, oh, oh that sucks so bad. Oh man. I'm so excited I got a fish. Drop my damn net in the water. Think there's any chance of finding it? Probably not. <laughs> this is kind of a fairly deep diving plug. I get that behind me. I'm headed back to the launch. I drifted out of the portion of this uh, shoreline that was that I had to travel pretty far up the shoreline north to get to where there were all those weed beds. There are no more weeds between here and the launch. Uh, it's just sandy and rocky bottom and I don't think we're gonna encounter any more pike. They're gonna wanna sit up in those weeds. <clears throat> I'm gonna head back to the launch but I'm gonna troll my way there. See if we can pick up a salmon. I saw salmon in shallow water and jumping earlier. So I think they're in pretty shallow water. So we can just flatline troll um, this Rapala and see if we can pick one up on the way back to the launch. Probably not, but why not try? So that's what I'm gonna do. And uh, I'll check back in with you if we get a fish on. All right, folks, that's it. That's gonna do it for today. We only caught one fish. It was the target species. It was a Northern Pike. It was not a huge one. I had uh, dreams of catching numerous gigantic pike that did not come true. 
In the end, we got one kind of small to average size pike. I lost my net in the lake. That sucks. I'm moving to Georgia next summer, and so that might be the last pike I'll ever catch. I don't know, for a long time at least. Unless there's another day that I can get out here this late fall, winter. Other than that, um, during the sort of depths of winter, I don't really get to kayak out in the lake. I mean, springtime, there's gonna be other stuff I wanna do. So, unless I can get another, another nice early fall, or late fall, early winter day out here, that might be my last pike. That's cool, because of that, I'll take it, even though I lost my net, being that once I make that move, I'm, I'm not gonna get to fish for these guys anymore. They're a cool fish, I really like them. I still got this trolling rod out, but I'm getting close to the launch. I don't really think I'm gonna get anything on that. I never really did, I just, why, why not put it out there though, since I'm just making my way back anyway. Anyway, thanks so much for joining me. Thanks for coming with me today. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. Uh, that's it, thanks for watching. Catch up with you on the next video. Thanks a lot, bye. <laughs>